Good evening and warm welcome to all of you, dear friends, who are joining us this evening on Wednesday, 3rd of June, uh, here in Holy Trinity Cathedral for this service of Sun Even Song. Today in our church, we are commemorating the Holy Martyrs of Uganda. The Martyrs of Uganda were, for the most part, young, baptized page boys of Mwanga, the King of Uganda. Both Anglicans and Roman Catholics, in their loyalty to Christ, died without complaint by slow burning or torture on the orders of Mwanga in the years 1885 and 1886. Mwanga identified their Christian faith as disobedience and saw their allegiance to God as a threat to his absolute authority. So as we gather today to offer our prayers to God, we pray for people around the world. They may be protected with love of God and that they can follow the voice of their silence in faith and in convictions which they profess. unto the Lord, for he is gracious, and his mercy endureth forever. O oh, give thanks unto the God of all gods, for his mercy endureth forever. O oh, thank the Lord of all gods, for his mercy endureth forever. mercy endureth forever, who by his excellent wisdom made the hands, for his mercy endureth forever, who laid out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endureth forever, who hath made great Lies, for his mercy endureth forever. The sun to rule the day, for his mercy endureth forever. The moon and the stars to govern the night, for his mercy endureth forever. Who smote Egypt with their firstborn, for his mercy endureth forever, and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endureth forever, with a mighty hand and stretched out arm. For his mercy endureth forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the third chapter of the book of Job. After this, Job opened his mouth and cursed the day of his birth. He said, Let the day perish in which I was born, and the night that said, A man-child is conceived. Let that day be darkness. May God above not seek it, or light shine on it. Let gloom and deep darkness claim it. Let clouds settle upon it. Let the blackness of the day terrify it. That night, let thick darkness seize it. Let it not rejoice among the days of the year. Let it not come into the number of the months. Yes, let that night be barren. Let no joyful cry be heard in it. Let those curse it who curse the sea, those who are skilled to rouse up Leviathan. Let the stars of its dawn be dark. Let it hope for light, but have none. May it not see the eyelids of the morning, because it did not shut the doors of my mother's womb and hide trouble from my eyes. Why did, I, why did I not die at birth, come forth from the womb and expire? Why were there knees to receive me or breasts for me to suck? Now I would be lying down and quiet. I would be asleep then I would be at rest with kings and counselors of the earth who rebuild ruins for themselves, or with princes who have gold, who fill their houses with silver. Or why was I not buried like a stillborn child, like an infant that never sees the light? There the wicked cease from troubling, and there the weary are at rest. There the prisoners are at ease together, they do not hear the voice of the taskmaster. The small and the great are there, and the slaves are free from their masters. Why is light given to one in misery, and life to the bitter in soul, who long for death, but it does not come, and dig for it more than for hidden treasures, who rejoice exceedingly, and are glad when they find the grave, why is light given to one who cannot see the way whom God has fenced in? For my sighing comes like my breath, and my groanings are poured out like water. Truly, the thing that I fear comes upon me, and what I dread befalls me. I am not at ease, nor am I quiet. I have no rest, but trouble comes. Here ends the first lesson. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his hand He hath magnified me.
The second lesson is written in the second chapter of the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, beginning at the first verse. Therefore you have no excuse, whoever you are, when you judge others. For in passing judgment on another, you condemn yourself, because you, the judge, are doing the very same things. You say, we know that God's judgment on those who do such things is in accordance with truth. Do you imagine? whoever you are, that when you judge those who do such things and yet do them yourself, you will escape the judgment of God? Or do you despise the riches of his kindness and forbearance and patience? Do you not realize that God's kindness is meant to lead you to repentance? But by your hard and impenitent heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself on the day of wrath when God's righteous judgment will be revealed. For he will repay according to each one's deeds. Here ends the second lesson. Lord, now let us bow thy servant depart in peace.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And you, thy ministers, with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Ever-loving God, you made the blood of martyrs the seed of your church in Uganda. Grant that, as they were steadfast in faith and obedient unto death, yielding a plentiful harvest, so may we be encouraged by their example to witness courageously to your gospel. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires all good counsels and all just works do proceed. Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. 
through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy Let us pray. Let us be at peace within ourselves. Let us accept that we are profoundly loved and need never be afraid. Let us be aware of the source of being that is common to us all and to all living creatures. Let us be filled with the presence of the great compassion towards ourselves and towards all living beings. Realizing that we are all nourished from the same source of life, may we so live that others be not deprived of air, food, water, shelter, or the chance to live. Let us pray that we ourselves cease to be a cause of suffering to one another. With humility, let us pray for the establishment of peace in our hearts and on earth. May God kindle in us the fire of love to bring us alive and give warmth to the world. Lead us from death to life, from falsehood to truth, Lead us from despair to hope, from fear to trust. Lead us from hate to love, from war to peace. Let peace fill our heart, our world, our universe. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. The Lord give us his peace, and life.
May Christ, who makes saints of sinners, who has transformed those whom we remember today, raise and strengthen you, that you may transform the world. In the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you forever. Amen.